What's up, guys? I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we're back with another Cupid's Corner. That's right. Coming back from one Day weekend. What a beautiful weekend it was. But we're always back to give you guys great tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully entertain, excite, and ignite your relationship and hopefully take it to a whole new level. And don't worry, guys or girls out there. If you're not in a relationship, you guys can use this knowledge and information for your future endeavors in your relationship and hopefully apply these things and hopefully it'll make it a more successful relationship if your relationships in the past have not been so su uh, successful, I guess, right? So let's get into it right now. So the topic we're going to talk about this week is how do you talk to your partner mm -hmm. about things that they think might be cute or might like and you really just don't like and uh, you really need to talk to them about it. Yeah, how do you approach it? You know, wouldn't it be a little awkward? Sometimes I guess so. I mean, usually in the beginning of the relationship, when you meet somebody, you know, everything is awesome, right? Mm -hmm. Everything they do is awesome. But as you start being with somebody, there might be some different things that, that really get underneath your skin per se, right? Or you might not like, or just, you know, it's just not your style or it taste. super random too. <laughs> and there's a lot of different examples we're going to go over here. But, you know, these are, this is one of the things that, listen, where communication is there, you need to talk about things. Communication is key. And maybe bring it up in a, in a nice manner, okay, with something like this. So let's just break into it, right? And let's give an example here. So if you're dating somebody, and let's say I'm dating, and I was dating Sharice, and, and I didn't like certain things. So oh let's say it's... Um, Pick an example you really didn't like. No, I know one for sure. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah I know what he's going to say. I know what he's going to say. Yep, Sharice smoked when I first met her. I definitely don't like the smoking. I nailed so it, didn't I? Didn't I told her, I'm like, listen, that. the smoking's got to go. It. Like, don't come back to bed. You better brush your teeth. And, like, at this point, like, no more smoking. That was a big one for me. It um, was a big one. You know, my dad smoked two packs of Reds, uh, Marbles, uh, a day. I and I'd have to be stuck in the too. car. And before all that, with secondhand smoke and all that stuff, we were stuck in the car up north when it was really cold outside with the windows up or barely cracked. So uh, I definitely don't like smoke. That, that was one big now thing. Now I'll live a longer life to continue to harass my husband. <laughs> <laughs> so that's one thing, right? And I talked to her about it right away because this is something that, listen, right away, like... It caused an issue as far as what I'm not used to and what I really didn't like or really didn't want a partner because I'm living a healthy lifestyle here. I'm not smoking and I really didn't want it around me. Or if future, because you got to think down the line, do you, you know, if you're going to have a family and kids, do you want to surround them too as well? Mm -hmm. And this could be debilitating for kids too as well, asthma, all these different things around secondhand smoke. Mm -hmm. So just having it on your clothing can, can make a difference as far as when a baby child is on your chest breathing those those uh, odors in. So that was one thing that, that just got me. So that's just my example, right? That was a good one. You know, it, it's a good one. But there's a, there could be a lot of different things out there. There could be, you know, for, for girls, guys leaving up the toilet seat. You know, God, I, that is so It's annoying. a big one, right? And I, I've learned for myself, like, not to do this. And I, I always put it down. But yeah. um, I, I have seen a couple of girls fall <laughs> in the toilet. Without yeah. looking in the middle yeah, of the night, the middle, just go over there. In the middle there. of the night, that's a great one, yeah. So that's funny, you know, getting a little butt wet and stuff like that, <laughs> and yelling about it. <laughs> <laughs> not happen with me, uh, but definitely happen to a couple of my friends' uh, house where I've seen yeah, this happen. Yeah, that's not happen with him, thank definitely goodness. Not, definitely I not with me. I would have definitely had him in a chokehold for that. But that you know, that, that's something, you know, I mean. My, one, one of mine was. Yeah, let's see, one. I want to yeah. hear it. So he probably already knows. In fact, this actually happened today. It's very funny. Um, not really. However, I hate, hate, uh -huh. hate chocolate. Oh, I that's hate right. chocolate. That's right. I don't. I don't like the smell of it. I don't like the, like the way it looks. I think it's disgusting. The smell of it is so repulsive. It literally makes me gag. Can like, you guys <laughs> believe this? Can you guys believe this? I am like the only person on the planet that thinks this way too. It's so strange, right? 
So anyways, like when I met John, John loves chocolate, right? Chocolate. And like, you know, I was telling him like, hey, listen, like I don't like chocolate. I like actually hate chocolate and I use hate not that frequently. But if I really, really, really don't like something, I'm going to use that word. So, and I hate chocolate. So he would constantly in bed, like, you know, he'd be eating cookies and brownies and whatever, you know. And, like, you know, sometimes he'd turn and look at me and, like, we'd talk about something. And I'm like, oh, it smells like chocolate. And I'm like, oh. Because it's not that his breath smelled. It's because his breath smelled like chocolate. And I literally wanted to puke. So I'd have to tell him, like, hey, listen, I know you know I don't like chocolate. So, like. You're going to have to, like, drink some water or something because I just hate the smell of chocolate. She does. And then today, that happens, you know? What is it, like, 15 years later? And he's <laughs> talking to me. and I'm I mean, a cookie, and she asked my advice. She I, comes over next to me. I try to show him an it's email. like, is that chocolate? No, that wasn't. Uh, uh, <laughs> like, literally making these faces. I'm like, oh, my God, right now. I'm like, are you eating chocolate? And he's like, ew. And then he's like, oh, jeez. He goes over and drinks his water. He's like, let me see what you wanted me to see. <laughs> But, you know, it's just, that was just, you know, it's, it's an example of, like, you know, and it's, it's, you're telling them, like, something you may not like. It's true. And then you have to kind of express, like, how much you really not, like, you really don't like it, right? Right, right. Another good example that I was just talking to him about before the episode was um, maybe the way you dress. Mm. You know, that, I think that's a big one, because sometimes you'll meet somebody and you'll think, like, whatever you're dressing in is, like, super cute and it looks very sleek and sexy. And then he'll come out and be like, oh, I think you look great, but actually your dress is a little short, you know, or I don't know, your dress is a little see-through. and uh, You know, so for the guys out there, if you have an out, if the girl has an outfit on and it's, it's a little provocative for you and you don't like it, you have to speak up. Because they're not going to know unless you tell them. That's gonna be a. That's gonna be a. I, I can see that going two ways when they do that. Yeah. The girls in black. You ain't telling me what to wear. I mean, some girls right. should respect it. They're like, all right, I appreciate, it, honey. I, I didn't know this made you uncomfortable. You didn't like it. I'll go change. And then you're gonna get the other half. They're gonna be like, you're not gonna I'm tell not, me what to yeah, wear. Yeah, I'm not changing. I'm, I'm wearing this, what I'm aware. Yeah, I wore this when you met me. You know, right. and some, okay. some of those past, and right? And then, 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 then you don't want to be upset when guys are you know, making comments about you when you're walking by, yeah. right? So go change your outfit. Yeah, I, I, I agree. I agree with that. You know, the other one is, um, the other one that I've seen out there with, uh, you know, and some of these things you got to attack right away. Like this is something you see like right in the beginning. Like there's something that sticks out. But then after a while, as the relationship starts to, you know, gather some ground, you guys start to get some, some things underneath your belt as far as experience, memories, and time. You know, then you guys are going to be looking for, you know, more common ground as far as, you know, what's the next step in our relationship or evolution. And that could be nothing. You guys could stay at the exact same pace you guys are at or you guys could be moving forward. And what I mean by that, that could be like moving in with each other, or maybe engaged or, or something along those lines. And then when that happens, as you guys are starting to grow together, there could be things that stick out that, listen, you guys used to do back in the day and was all cool and fine and dandy. But as you mature and you start gathering ground and years of experience, then it's not so cool to do it anymore. Yeah, not so, cool. so prime example, right, oh, is, <laughs> is I, I see it all the time here. And, and, you know, my guys and girls both do this, I know, is, you know, they, they get in the relationship, they, you know, they're together for a long time, and then it's all like, you know what, I've been missing the club too much, i got to start going out. So they, they start going out, they want to stay out till 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning, right? And at that point, the relationship's past that point, especially if you guys aren't together or the other partner doesn't You're want to do crazy. it. You know, as you start gathering years <laughs> underneath your belt, you guys are, not to say you guys can't go out and enjoy this once in a while or you know, every so often. Trust me, I, I, I tell you guys, definitely go do it. Blow off some stress, dance together, get, get some time together. If you guys have some alcoholic beverages, be responsible about it. Don't get crazy. But, you know, be smart about it, you know, and that's the other thing. When we usually go out, you know, you're usually possibly drinking. Some people drink to too far extent where they can't think about what they did that night. And they have to get remembered by their partner. Like, listen, I told you, I don't like you doing that. You just did this last night. And when you get like this, you know, you said things that I didn't like or you did things that I didn't like. And you don't even remember. You're like, man, like, I didn't remember. I'm so sorry. But then you go out the next week and you do it again. Do it again, yeah. You know, that's, that, that's like you're, you don't care at that point. You're just doing it to do it, and you're doing it all over again. So this can be hurtful to your partner. And this is something you need to talk about, too, as well. Just because you talk about it, though, guys, on the other end of the spectrum, guy or girl, 
you have to listen. Yeah. Like you can't just like hear what they're saying goes in one ear, yep. come out the other. Let it actually process through your brain. Yep. So that way you can, I mean, that's the only way you're going to get better. It. Apply that's it. That's the only way you're going to get better. Actions speak louder than words. I mean, listen, me and John have been together forever. Absolutely. And if you think for one second, we have not come across every single one of these things that we talk about at some point. For sure. We have come across it. A hundred percent. But you mean at the halfway point, right? Yep. There's definitely a happy medium yep. for everybody. Yep. No matter who you are or what the situation is. Yep. Always a happy medium. Yeah. So this is just a little great tips and info from us to you guys. Yeah, speak up. So guys, make sure you guys are tuning in every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC for our Cupid's Corner Live. If not, DVR it. And if you missed that too, just go to YouTube, type in Type Medical Center, and you'll see all these great episodes and more. So I'm John. I'm Sharif. And we'll see you back next Sunday at 11 a.m. for another Cupid's Corner. Yep, we'll see you then.